Well, in this episode of What's He Up To In The Shop, what happened? (laughs) Well, let's get into this. All right, guys. So, as you can see, what happened to the mirror? Well, see, the thing is, is this bike is uh, 25 years old and adhesives... Well, they get old too. And unfortunately, the mirror glass fell off of my side view mirror on the Triumph. And well, there's actually not an easy uh, fix for this if you can't get your hands on mirrors or if the cost of getting a new mirror is rather substantial the way it is in this situation. So uh, what I did is I ran out and grabbed one of these. It's one of these cut to fit replacement lens deals. Basically, it comes like this. (laughs) That's me. So anyway, that's what this looks like. This is actually the mirror side. This is the backing side. Comes with some adhesive. And the idea is in essence, you take whatever it is that you've got to put your mirror on. And in this case, I just removed the adjustable part of that mirror. I mean, it's easy to get to. There wasn't any glass there. So anyway, I grabbed this and I traced on the back side, because that's, this is the side that the glass is going to be facing out of on this guy. So you trace it on the other side and you stick the thing on there and you've got yourself a mirror. Now it's not an exact perfect OE fit, obviously, but in a pinch, it'll get you by and it's a whole lot better than running around with a busted up mirror. And this thing could be used for pretty much anything. I mean, the system's a universal. So if you've got a car, truck or whatever, it's got a busted lens and that's getting on your nerves, well, you can get one of these and get it knocked out. So let me get this thing cut out and we'll go from there. Oh, by the way, while I'm getting my arts and crafts on over here, big shout out to Juan from Triumph of Houston for filling me in on this. I never even knew something like this existed. Kind of neat. Thanks, Juan. All right, guys. So arts and craft skill set employed. Here's basically what it looks like. There you go. It's actually the back side of it. It'll be fitting this portion like that. So I'm going to get this thing installed. We're going to first use some of the sticky tape that comes with it. Get that on here, but can't put the glass on until this is mounted to the motorcycle because this would cover the mounting hardware. So I'm going to get this installed on the bike. Well, I'll give you an update as I go along, but we're just about done with this. Oh, and you're definitely going to need some sharp scissors. This material is kind of a, it's a thick plastic with like an aluminum inner layer. So it's just like a, just like a mirror you may have uh, anywhere. You know, it's a mirror, right? I mean, how, how foreign of a concept is that? But it is plastic, but it's kind of thick. I don't know if that'll translate too well. Anyway, it's fairly thick, um, but kind of like two business cards thick. So make sure you've got some sharp scissors. Oh, and a Sharpie. Because, I mean, everybody needs a Sharpie all the time, right? Anyway, let me get back to work on this. All right, guys. So, we've got the adhesive on this thing. Let's go bolt her up, put her together, see if it works, see how it looks. All right, guys. So, she is bolted back together, about to take that film off of the adhesive. But if you've ever wondered how these things adjust or what that adjustment thing looks like, all this is is a kind of a cup and socket situation with a spring on the back of a screw. That's what keeps the tension on that thing and allows you to scoot it around. So there you go. You just tighten it up enough to where it's kind of stiff to move around, but not so stiff that you can't move it or that you break something. All right, we're peeling the film off of this adhesive. A little knife like this is real handy to get in there and get that film off. Don't try to use your thumbnail. It it ain't going to work. A pick, a small knife, maybe a razor blade, but something like this is a little bit easier because it's easier to handle. Anyway, kind of a top tip that I figured out along the way. And there you have it. All installed. I wouldn't say that's too bad for my first 
foray into mirror making, I'll take it. All right, guys, and here's a view from the seat. Admittedly, the optics are a little wonky, but the main thing I'm looking for on a motorcycle is if, well, if I'm riding at night, I just want to be able to see headlights if I'm going to be merging over. Plus, it's a whole lot cheaper than buying a new mirror or mirror assembly, and from a quick glance, at least it's got mirrors, right? All right, guys, so there you have it. Here's that kit again. It's a CP100 kit. Find this. This is at an advanced auto parts right around the corner. Uh, it's called Fit System, and the part number uh, PZA slash PC down there at the bottom. So this is what it would look like, and you'd find it in the same aisle that you'd find your mirrors. Now, here's the thing. I, this, I wouldn't say, is a permanent solution, admittedly. Matter of fact, I'm really more thinking about putting mirror block-offs on this bike and maybe put some bar ends on this thing. I think that'd be kind of a cool look for this bike. Uh, but in the meantime, at least it gives me a right-hand side mirror that if I'm riding at night, at least I can see headlights. Or if I'm just cruising around during the day, if I give a quick glance, I can at least have something there as opposed to, you know, doing the whole look over, which I kind of do anyway. This is kind of more as a uh, as an aesthetic, more than it really is a functional item of the bike. But I wanted to bring this to you because... Listen, maybe you've got an older bike, an older car, the mirror's falling off, it got scratch cracked or otherwise. This is an option for you. I didn't even know that this existed. It gives you an opportunity to use those arts and crafts skills that you learned in elementary school. And if nothing else, at least it, you know, doesn't make it look like you're missing parts on the bike, at least from a, a few steps away anyway. <laughs> anyway, with that, Thanks again to the guys over at Triumph of Houston. One, appreciate you turning me on to this kind of a cool fixed tip. And uh, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Hope that helped you. Y'all have a great one.